Hi, and welcome back to the Travel Coach Network podcast. It is I, Sahar Rosdavor, the founder and CEO of the Travel Coach Network and the creator and instructor of the Travel Coach Certification Program. How to differentiate yourself from a travel advisor. As a travel coach, you can differentiate yourself from a traditional travel advisor by focusing on the unique value that you bring through personalized, transformative travel experiences. Here's how you can set yourself apart. One, holistic approach to travel. As a travel advisor, you primarily focus on the logistics of a trip, such as booking flights, hotels, tours, and commissions. As a travel coach, you go far beyond the logistics to help your clients explore their personal goals, desires, and challenges. You guide them in choosing travel experiences that best support their personal growth, their personal goals, wellness, and life transitions. Number two, emphasis on personal development. As a travel advisor, you plan trips based on client preferences and popular destinations. But as a travel coach, you can design travel experiences that align with your clients' deeper life goals, such as healing, self-discovery, or overcoming specific life challenges. You may incorporate coaching sessions before, during, and after the trip to ensure the experience has a lasting impact. Number three is long-term relationships. As a travel advisor, you often work with clients on a trip-by-trip basis. As a travel coach, you build long-term relationships with clients, helping them use travel as a tool for ongoing personal development. Your coaching may extend to other areas of their lives, making travel a consistent part of their self-care and personal growth journey. Number four is focusing on the mindset and intentions. As a travel advisor, you focus on fulfilling clients' immediate travel desires. But as a travel coach, you help clients set intentions for their trips, ensuring that their travel experiences are aligned with their mental, emotional, and spiritual well-being. You guide them in choosing destinations and activities that support their intentions and their goals. Number five is customized transformative experiences. As a travel advisor, you offer... You may offer tailored trips, but primarily within the framework framework of what's available through travel suppliers. Let me repeat that. You may offer tailored trips, but primarily within the framework of what's available through travel suppliers. But as a travel coach, you can curate highly personalized travel experiences that may include unconventional activities, maybe like wellness volunteer work, or cultural immersion that aligns with your client's personal growth objectives. Number six is educational components. As a travel advisor, you provide information about a destination, the accommodations, and activities. But as a travel coach, you can educate your clients on how to use travel as a tool for transformation. You may offer workshops, courses, or resources that teach clients how to integrate their travel experiences into the broader life goals. And number seven is support beyond travel. As a travel advisor, primarily involved during the planning and execution phase of a trip. But as a travel coach, you provide support before, during, and post-trip. You might offer coaching sessions to help clients process their experiences, integrate insights into their lives, and plan future travels that continue their growth journey and goals. By emphasizing these aspects, you can clearly communicate how your services as a travel coach offer a more meaningful, impactful, and personalized experience compared to traditional travel advisory services. Thank you, everyone. And if you want to learn more about travel coaching, you can head to thetravelcoachnetwork.com or visit us at the Travel Coach Network on Instagram. You can find the links for those in our show notes. You can also find the link for your free beginner's guide to travel coaching in the show notes as well. If you know anyone who may be interested in travel coaching, please be sure to send them our way to our podcast. We truly appreciate it. And until next time, my fellow wanderers, bye for now.